What's up guys? Today, a jean review. On the top, Walmart, George, it's a regular fit, regular in the hip, and in the leg, 36, 34. I expect these to fit just a little bit long in the leg. I typically wear a 36, 32. And then, versus jeans at Target, Goodfellow & Co, 36, 32, slim straight, slightly different style. Today, we're gonna find out the quality control differences between each pair and see just how well each pair fits. Let's go ahead, do a quick try on, give you my first impressions, and find out if Walmart or Target is the better option for jeans. Okay, so first up is Goodfellow Co. This is Target's brand. I bought these for $28.99, I think it was $30 total, which is $2 cheaper than what it says on the tag, which is $32.99. This is a $36.32. It fit great, which is what I typically wear, which is what I was expecting. The leg length was perfect. Had I been wearing a pair of tennis shoes, they would have been uh, perfectly at the bottom of my ankle, just below my ankle. But as you can see in the try-on video, they touch the floor. So don't be dismayed by the video. The accuracy of it is just a little bit off. These fit perfectly. They have a cotton fabric mixture, so they're soft, they're stretchy. They don't feel coarse like typical denim. This is a mix with cotton in it which gives them not only their stretchiness, but like I said, their softness. A couple of quality control issues, a couple of little threads sticking out at, on the Goodfellow & Co. patch up by the waist, but other than that, a uh, perfect pair of jeans. What I appreciate about buying jeans at Target, and you'll see at Walmart too, is the fact everything you buy comes completely finished as compared to maybe say Costco for example where things are just a little bit unfinished, a little bit dressier than a lighter colored pair and that is exactly what I was expecting to find at Target which I did. This is the Slim Straight so it's thin or it's slim in the thigh and around the waist like a slim fit but is a straight leg. So this particular pair is called the Slim Straight. Slim in the thigh and in the waist, but a straight leg, not a thin leg or a skinny leg. Skinny jeans, they're tight around the leg. This is a straight leg. You have plenty of room in the, a, in the leg, around the ankles, uh, which is exactly what the Slim Straight stands for. So, 3632, they fit true to size. You get the Goodfellow & Co. logo at the back, inside the jean, at the waist. A demarcation, slim, straight, in Spanish as well. You get darker colored hardware. So instead of silver or maybe copper, um, it's a dark gray. And also you'll notice on the front of the pant, you get a couple of design aesthetics with this sort of washed look up by the waist, which I like, and it sort of fades away into darkness down by the bottom of the leg. And last but not least is George, Walmart's brand. This pair is a regular fit 3634. Now, even though I typically wear a 3632, I figured I would get the 3634 to see just how much longer the leg would be. And as you can see in the try on video, the bottom of the jean is tucked underneath my foot. So, longer than the Goodfellow Co. at 3632, which was expected, which means going into Walmart, just like going to Target, you can expect each of their jeans to fit true to size. This style is different though. This is a regular fit. The difference between regular and slim straight is this is regular in the hip and thigh. It's a little bit more spacious in the hip and thigh, and but just like the Goodfellow & Co. Slim Straight 
has a straight leg. So it's a straight leg, regular hip and thigh, and sits at the waist. Both jeans actually sit at the waist, uh, which is something that the target pair did not mention. Uh, but this one is different, like I said, because it's a regular. Not only is it roomier than a slim in the leg, but it's also roomier than the slim thigh in the waist. So, what I actually found, which coincides with having a regular waist, is the pockets on this pair are actually tighter than on the Goodfellow & Co. I found that this pair had tighter pockets, less room in the pockets, which is kind of counterintuitive because with more space in the waist, you would expect the pockets to be a little bit bigger. But actually, with the slim waist on the Goodfellow & Co., I found that I had more space in the pockets, which was interesting. Okay, so aside from how they fit, let's talk about quality control. This is the cheapest pair of jeans you can buy at Walmart. This is Walmart's generic brand, George. And they look and fit phenomenally. So unlike the Slim Straight by Goodfellow & Co. at Target, which were tight in the waist, these are roomy in the waist, but like I said, tight in pockets, which I thought was interesting. And just like at Target, the Goodfellow & Co. Slim Straight, these are regular, which means they have a straight leg. So roomy in the thigh and in the waist, and also in the leg. But most importantly, each of these jeans fits true to size. They're comfortable and good quality control for being a house brand, not a big third party name brand for more money. And last but not least, in comparison to our straight slim at Target by Goodfellow Co., which I thought were better suited for wearing at night for dressing up, with their bright stitching and dark denim for high contrast. This, as you can see, like I said, better suited for casual wear during the day. Low contrast, light denim, neutral colored stitching. And just wanted to point out at the back, uh, something I just noticed, a thread sticking out, a pretty big piece actually. Again, to be expected, not a big third party expensive brand pair of jeans. Expect there to be just a couple of quality control issues, but overall, for each pair, so far so good. Nothing that can't just be cut off or burn off with a lighter. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video. This has been a review comparison. Walmart versus Target jeans, Goodfellow Co. at Target, George at Walmart. These jeans were roughly the same price. Uh, one was a slim straight at Target, and the other was a regular at Walmart. The Walmart was slightly longer, which was expected. It was a 36-34. I typically wear a 36-32. The Target was a 36-32 and fit perfectly fine. Both of these jeans fit as expected, and both were true to what was advertised on the front on the sticker, their various styles and lengths. And also, I wanted to point out good quality control here. A couple of threads sticking out on both pair, but nothing that can't just, like I've said, be cut off or burnt off. Really good stuff. For an inexpensive price point, these jeans are fantastic. Again, Goodfellow Co. at Target. Definitely a thumbs up for me. Really good looking pair of jeans. This one I thought was dressier. And last but not least, at Walmart, George, this is a regular, also a thumbs up from me, fit well, rugged, stylish, and most importantly, affordable. Thanks again so much, guys, for tuning in. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below for more, and share this video with friends and family. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.